welcome it's another edition of the counter press and it's the um italian football edition Calcio edition of the counter press so like we always do do what to like subscribe and share um going past the the subscription and then share the video as far as we're grateful to hear from you my name is fifi manfred this is the counter press thank you for choosing us let's get right into it so in this edition it's the italian football conversation of the counter press and let me start by this so napoli have done the unthinkable um they have won the scudetto for the first time in over well over 30 years um for southern italy it's a big win for um, the part of italy that is impoverished and haven't seen so much in terms of football like northern italy that has um juventus mil the two milan clubs and even in the mid midland italy that has roma it is huge for sounding italian football um so it was big the celebration was all across italy but then whilst the connoisseurs and then um the writers have touted it as um maradona finally smiling from heaven on napoli it looks as if the smile wasn't was a short-lived one because um these are my reasons first of all coach luciano spalletti who has been at the helm for the past two and a half years is on the verge of a divorce with napoli also um cristiano guentoli who is a sporting director that led the rebuild after i mean senior dres mertens khalid koulibaly and the likes had exited is also um, possibly going to leave the club as clubs like juventus manchester united Torino Mospe are all on his tails but how did all of these unfold this edition of the counter first will run you into it so um in italy some clubs most clubs are um financially unstable most of the top clubs are financially unstable so the two milan clubs are classic examples of the two most unstable clubs in the top of the italian Serie A. um good for Napoli, they are not one of these unstable clubs. So, really, the Orientes has run the club so well, such that they can afford to keep their players, even when um, the vultures in England do come um, to come and scavenge on the remains of the club. They have enough money to keep their best players. Um, and, of course, their rebuild has been as a result of good planning and then getting some of the best players from places where a lot of elite European clubs would have averted their ex. They did not. So, for them... This was probably a season after going to the Champions League quarterfinals and winning the Scudetto. More like next season should have been more of the same. Let's build on this. Let's get the results. And then let's make um, a club that's financially stable, a result stable club as well. But then mind you, if you know the story of Aurelio De Laurentiis, the filmmaker um, who is from Naples himself, it's someone who is seen as a hot-hearted person, a fierce person, and even a dramatic personality in Italy. Um, he has honed a career in filmmaking, but really, it is his footballing exploit as an owner and that has made him um, a star across the world. For really, De Laurentiis, in about the last five years, has lost four of his managers. In about a decade ago, when Walter Mazzuri was leaving his team for Internationale Milan, he did mention that in life, if your wife decides to, for want of a better word, um, F another man, you can't force it by allowing him to go because Walter Mazzuri did leave. And also for Mauricio Sarri, he said that Mauricio Sarri was only leaving Napoli after that record-breaking season of they being the highest scoring points in the Italian period, um, Italian City R club um, in second place. He felt that Mauricio Sarri was only going for a big break in Chelsea, and he did. For Lichano Spalletti, his possible departure is not because of money or because he's going to chase after people um, that are better suited than Napoli. It is simple. It is because Luciano Spalletti is somebody that um, sees, that embodies respect and principles at the heart of his job. It's the reason why the Tuscany wine, wine vine owner would sit at home until his contract officially expired, even after he has been sacked. Um, so, in the last time when Luciano Spalletti was in Roma, he literally resigned for one reason, because um, quote, um, former Roma legend um, Francesco Tetti in his documentary it didn't make him look unpopular and he felt that that was hugely disrespectful to him as a manager and even though at the time the owner of Roma did force him and then did almost everything to keep him at the club Spalletti never budged and then left um, AS Roma at the time um, and then went away this time 
The report from Italy says that right after the Champions League exit against AC Milan, what happened was that Luciano Spalletti did receive a mail from Napoli's sanctioned mail where the part of his contract that needed extension was proposed to him that via the mail, you know what, um, can you just go through this and then sign a signature to extend your contract for us at Napoli Football Club? Luciano Spalletti from reports did really feel that this wasn't the right way to go about it. He felt that at least um, the owner himself should have spoken about this over a latte in, in Naples or probably even pizza or spaghetti or something in, in Milan, in, in Naples, which did not happen. This really made the relationship between himself, Guentoli, and then, of course, um, Aurelio De Laurentiis begin to dwindle at the time. Um, as it stands now, really nothing has been nothing has happened. And then it looks like Luciano Spalletti, in his last pre-match press conference, all but confirmed that he's not going to be the coach for Napoli next season. Also, whilst Aurelio De Laurentiis was making rounds in the media, saying that Spalletti was going to be his manager next season, Spalletti said to the press that that should have been said to him and not the press. It looks like the relationship between himself and De Laurentiis is as an all-time low. Um, so everything points to the fact that yes, whilst Maradona might have smiled at Napoli, it doesn't look like this is going to go on. What makes that even extra, um, that makes the, that um, testament even is the fact that Cristiano Guentoli, who is the sporting director for SSC Napoli, now is on is 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 is, is being pursued by almost every big club who is a sporting director, and key amongst them is Juventus. Juventus, according to um. David Amoyal and some of the top reporters in Italy have said that he, it looks like they have completed everything and is going to be the possible sporting, next sporting director for Juventus Football Club. What that means is that they, Cristiano Guentoli was the one that brought Kavicha Kavariscalia when he had moved from the Russian League to the Georgian League to mainstream Europe again. He's the one that broke it, the Victor Simen deal. He is the one that brought in the Kim Jaimin deal. And a host of these players have done a good job. Also, um, Frank Andre Zombo Anguisa was also the handiwork of Cristiano Guentoli. So, a season after, um, not just a season, just a few days, just a few weeks after um, Napoli have won the Italian Serie A, all of a sudden, everything seems to be crumpling. The fact that um, uh, Luciano Spalletti is going to be out of his job, the fact that Cristiano Guentoli is going to be leaving, and the fact that the vultures of England, the vultures of Spain, the vultures of Germany will come around Naples. They will come and swarm the damn side of Naples in hope that they can scavenge on some of the carcass left of Napoli. And that's exactly where we are now. Why do I say so? Like I said earlier, Napoli isn't a club that was going to be forced to sell anybody if they had a stable home. But once Luciano Spalletti is going to be going, most of these players who do not have release clauses in their contract are possibly going to be thinking about their exit. And key amongst them is Kim Jaimin, the centre-back who is being hugely pursued by Manchester United, may look over his shoulders and look for a much more stable place, Champions League football, English Premier League football, and probably turn away to Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag's team. Also, Kavicha Kavadiskalia is a lifelong fan of Real Madrid, um, with the Madrid team all set with the inclusion of Jude Bellingham. Maybe they would want to add a creative force in that wide area especially since Eden Hazard flattered to deceive in that team so that he gives them some different dimension and some 1v1 ability from out there so yes Florentino Perez with his money may come asking for questions and was covering on the carcass of Napoli the key amongst and the biggest one is the fact that Victor Oshime who is being pursued by almost everybody in Europe from Bayern Munich, Thomas Tuchel from Chelsea Football Club possibly Mauricio Pochettino and then of course Paris Saint-Germain would want the key Nigerian maximum to lead the alliance in the Champions League and, of course, in the league next season. So, the key players are possibly going to exit Napoli just a few months, just a few weeks after they won the Scudetto. That's the sad part. So, yes, Napoli and Maradona my heart, may have smiled on Naples, but that seems to be short-lived. It's sad. I really do wish that the Laurentiis and then, of course, Luciano Spalletti do find an amicable solution. But then, uh, it's sad. It's all but done, all but confirmed that Spalletti will be leaving, Cristiano Guentil will be leaving. And that may have a ripple effect on the fact that Oshime, Kavarskalia, Kim Jaimin, Frank Zombo, and Guisa, and a host of others may be leaving um, Napoli. It's a sad one. But we'll see what Napoli and, of course, De Laurentiis will do. Mind you, De Laurentiis have always had a way to rebuild. He did it when um, Mauricio Sarri left. He did it when Walter Mazzari left. And I think that he still will have the impetus and then the guts to lead his Napoli team next season, even when everything goes down south. Thank you.
again for choosing the counter press. My name is Sifi Manfred. Please do subscribe and share. Thanks.